What is up, guys? Uh, Mancino Chinchino back here again. Another episode of Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles. I know I kind of just abruptly ended that one, but that, that was a nice little note to end on. Um, you know, cool uh, model bot vagabond or whatever. That's how you, yeah, that was it. Um, and two really cool presents all around, like thoughtful things, like these Zara's. Like, because they were all shocked at Bowsing, and then bringing a little culture and bringing them all together, and then, you know, crazy insect for Mr. Bio. But, uh, I figured that was an appropriate time, even though it seemed kind of rushed, because looking at these two titles, Tomorrow and Izara's Commitment, they really don't sound like they had anything to do with the Feast of Bell Spirits. So, uh, we're gonna jump into these two episodes, watch them, and then jump into a, the one battle of Chapter 11. So, let's enjoy these next two scenes, guys. Sarah, I don't think Rosie really meant to hurt you. No, I... I know that, Mr. Zaka. But I do wonder if dreams of a future in which we're all equal will only bring pain. No, don't get impatient on me. Getting close to somebody takes time, Isara. People don't just change overnight. That said, nothing in this world doesn't change. Yes, I know. Even if slowly, change will happen. Exactly. So don't let it get you down. She's just worked up over tomorrow's operation. Tomorrow's op? Oh, that's right! I need to speak with Welks about the plan. What plan? You come up with a solution for those guns? If we modify something I've been developing, it may provide our ground troops protection. I'll go speak with Welks about it now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Hey, Isara. And she's gone. Those two really are siblings. They get into something and they're in their own world. Hey, boss. We, uh, got a plan today? Well, Isara and I came up with a little something last night. Speaking of, Isara still isn't here, is she? I apologize for being late. Welks, it's done! You finished in time. Yes, these smoke rounds should help keep our foot soldiers safe from fire. Smoke rounds? A new type of tank cannon rounds. They don't do any damage, but they create a smoke screen. If we run through those, we'll be able to move without being sighted. And you just finished them now? <laughs> so you didn't sleep at all last night, huh? And the Sevens are like my family. Alicia, Rosie, Largo. Mr. Zaka, Welks, little Hans, too. I don't want... None of you can die. If those smoke screens can protect you even a little, it'll be well worth it. Isara, you... Nice going, kiddo. With these things, we'll be practically invisible. Yeah, this battle just got a lot less scary. Thanks, Isara. All right, let's get ready. Squad 7, move out! All right, Isara coming through in the clutch with the smoke grenades. Um, Pretty freaking sweet. And yeah, we're going we're gonna to use them well for you, Isara. Don't worry, as we jump into the Battle of the Mulberry Shore. Wait, no, Marberry. Marberry, not Mulberry. Yeah, I'm bad. I'm bad at stuff. Got it. Got to accept that. But yeah, this is a pretty, I don't know if it's not like one of my favorites, but eh, it's a good mission here all around. Here's a brief on the task at hand. Yeah, I enjoy it. Let's see, what's going on here? 
The enemy is entrenched behind hefty defenses along the top of the sheer rock face. Cool. Your only path lies across this beach. You'll begin at this entry point and work your way towards the enemy camps. Your objective is to occupy the enemy base. Climb the slopes leading up from the water and make a beeline for that camp. I don't know what that means. There are two things to look out for along the way. One is the enemy machine gun emplacements along the coast. Use your tank as a shield and keep smoke rounds coming. The How does she know about the smoke rounds? Maybe she's in the strategy group. Anyway, the second issue is the concrete uh, defense bunkers that lie beyond the crest of that slope. They're incredibly resistant to attacks and may take quite some time to take out. It'll slow you down. They do have a weakness though. You can do major damage by attacking them in the back. Okay, cool. If you have your shock trooper, we do have shock troopers, our elites. Use our flamethrowers, which we will. I think I mentioned that. Yeah, we got flamethrowers now for our shock troopers. But, um, okay, so I, I'm going to do a little pre-scouting because I played this game before. Yes, yes, surprise, surprise. But anyway, um, okay, this may seem stupid at the time, but trust me, this will make a, a lot easier in my opinion. It may actually no. not be as easy, but... I like doing it this way. It just really makes it easy for me. So, yeah, let's uh, go take back the Mulberry Shore. And, oh, God, it's already been six and a half minutes almost. I thought it was, like, three. I'm, like, out of it. I, like, uh, man, whatever. We'll get a turn or two done in this. And then we'll continue next time. I wish I had the Feast of All Spirits. I wonder what holiday that's supposed to be. Hmm. Clear out the Imperial Shoreline defenses. Squad 7, move out! It's like... It's like Thanksgiving without the feast, but you're also actually giving, like, instead of just eating with your family. Hmm. That's tough. Yeah. Good question. Here we are. Marbury Shore. There really isn't any cover at all out here. Wilkes, aim the smoke rounds at the ground or at objects, not at the enemy. That should spread the smoke screen around that area. Got it. I'll do what I can. My shamrock can't fire smoke rounds, but I'll pick up the slack on offense. That's right, this is our first op with you, Saka. Good to have you. Wouldn't miss it. Now let's go sock one to the Empire. Dude, Saka's awesome. I'm glad he joined. Okay, I just... Okay, good. So <laughs> here's the plan. Combat. We're gonna take the Edelweiss, and we're gonna wait, because... Smoke screens will dissipate a short while after they're fired, Welks. Plus, a blast from a mortar, grenade, or anti-tank lance will blow it away instantly. Understood. Let's be careful. Okay, so yeah. Ooh, nature level. Cool. Nature. So, um, we're gonna get our smoke called the Azara Smoke 1. And, um, Keep an eye on your we wanna aim it basically, let's see, about here. So we can get a nice smoke full fill passage. Oh yeah, there we go. Take them out, one at a time. And we just keep going. Okay, because we wanna we wanna at least get Welkin up too. Okay, so now what we wanna do is see the enemy camp? Let's do work Leash, even though she's not an elite yet. She's level 10, she'll be an elite next level. So just run run run. Can't see me because of the smoke. And we're gonna run through and oh my god, we made it. And we're getting shot, so aim! My defense is down, but who the hell cares? Wait, who's shooting me? Oh, that guy? Wait a minute, okay. Oh, I can just capture it right here now, can't I? Yeah, they don't even have anyone guarding their freaking... What are they doing? No one's guarding their base. But hey, we captured a uh, enemy uh, base already. First, well, second move. So this guy's annoying because he's behind the freaking barricade, but I think Leech has got him. Look at that! Two perfect shots, what a beast! Hell yeah, Alicia, that's how you do it. So we'll end her turn right there, because that was awesome. <laughs> Ooh. Alright, we've cleared the beach. We managed to avoid the threat of the enemy's machine guns, at least for now. Yep, because these are pretty awesome with their smoke grenades. So now we're gonna actually call in our squad. Alex freaking Raymond. Of course, Hector, my man. Uh, Vice, my man. I don't think we're gonna need Marina. No snipers. Um, and tanks really can't move much. So, uh, Edie, haven't used Edie at all this game. We'll bring out uh 
Susie as our last one, because we can't call out anymore. Okay. So now for the rest of this turn, I just want to get uh, Rosie and Largo up by Alicia. And then we'll, uh... I think we'll cut... No, I don't know. Should we do uh, enemy phase, or should we just cut the episode? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Am I right, people? So, anyway, uh, Rosie. I'm gonna walk her up. I'm gonna have her kill that scout guy, just because she can. Maybe we'll use our new flamethrower, even though I don't think it's gonna kill it. No Hell yeah, ain't no stopping you, Rosie. You're freaking badass. Even though you're kind of mean, but it's okay. Two shots. Oh, nice. Try, Double doctor. potential activation. That's pretty nice. Demolish that dude. Nice shot, Rosie. Well, think you can oh, crap. We're like in the line of that tank. Huh. Okay, that's not good. But that's okay. Because we still got to move Largo. Watch this. I think he could, he is a little more AP than Rosie, so maybe he can clear. Okay, I'm severely doubting what I just said. He was far back. Make sure to yeah, um... But the smoke's gonna remain here, so I'd rather get Rosie to safety. Let's do this thing. Alright, so we're gonna bring Rosie over here. And basically just end our turn. And, uh, end the episode, I guess. Actually, no, I don't think they're gonna make a lot of moves, so let's just get this out of the way. Cause yeah, they really don't have much. All right. Here goes. Oh, they don't even have that many command points. Sweet. See, look at all the moves. I called it. So, uh, really nice first turn here. Um, we're getting all the reinforcements ever. Continuing our battle for the Mawberry Shore tomorrow. Uh, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. Later days.